Welcome back to The Reality Guys. I'm your host, Brian, and today I'm flying solo again. I'm talking Bachelor in Paradise Season 9, Episode 5. So we're, where we pick up this week is Sean is having a little bit of issue. He's upset that his time in the on, the, on Paradise is probably over. He's talking to Aaron S. They're like, we need to sign, we need to sign. And just like we saw at the ending of last week, we see some feet walking down the steps. We find out this is Sam P. She's from Bachelor in Paradise, Canada. She walks out the steps. Everyone's like, who the hell is this? There's a bunch of like cricket sounds added in. Sean immediately acts on this. He pulls her immediately and starts talking to her. And then other guys start making their rounds. They find out that she's from Bachelor of Paradise, Canada. Now I noticed right off the bat that there's been a lot, a lot, a lot of Sean confessionals and dialogue over moments in the show. And to me, that is normally a sign that someone probably is going home. And after, so that's just before... I have, obviously we know the outcome, but like when I was watching, this is an observation that I noticed. Um, we go right in the rose ceremony. So Sam P just gets thrown right into the fire. 12 men, eight women. So four men will be going home. So first off, we have Kylie. Kylie chooses Avon. Rachel chooses Brayden. Eliza chooses Aaron B. Kat chooses Tanner. Jess chooses Blake. Olivia chooses John Henry. Mercedes chooses Tyler. And Sam chooses Peter. So that was a surprising one because Peter was on the fence with, I think, Olivia. Olivia uh, chooses John Henry. Or was it Olivia? It was, yeah, it was it was Olivia. So right there, like, that was, Sam was the wild card. There was no way that Will was going to get picked. I didn't think Will was going to get picked. I didn't think um, Aaron S. should get picked because when we were doing our last episode with uh, Zach, Zachary Reality, we said that, Aaron S. should have went home if he cared so much about Sam and her poop gate. And he claims that he had such a great connection, but he should have went home first. So Aaron S. goes home. Sean goes home. So AI Sean, Will, and John B. And on the way out, Sean, again, just talking so much, brings up that he used to have hemorrhoids or has hemorrhoids from the show. So see you later, Sean. All right, next morning, it is Kat's 27th birthday, and we hear about it non-stop throughout the episode so if you were playing a drinking game or a bingo game where she brought up or mentioned it's her birthday you would have blackout drunk um so a day card comes in olivia comes in with a day card she reads it um cat's like oh if it's my birthday i should get the day card today goes to rachel that's ironic because who the person she takes is brayden so it's like another jab at cat so she doesn't get the day card and it's the guy that she used to talk to um, the one thing about Back to the Paradise is the dates are very hit or miss, and this is a complete miss, in my opinion. The date is making human pinatas, and we had the classic blur out butt cheeks, blur out guy's dick, and it's just like these huge black boxes that should not be covering it and things like that. They paint their body. They're making out with paint in their mouth. It's just totally gross. I don't know why they do these things, and they're just like giggling uncontrollably and laughing. Um yeah, it was, I hate these dates. I mean, it's not as bad as the one where they are eating tacos off each other like a season or two ago. That one was absolutely gross. But they seem to enjoy the date. They connect on this date. Like Braden makes a comment where he's like, it's so good to have fun and laugh about stuff. And it's like, I don't know. if This is this is not a date you're going to have a normal life. So I don't know why. It was, I thought it was brutal. If you thought this date was great, drop a comment below. I don't think anyone's going to agree with you. But hey, maybe there is. All right, so the next person up, Davia shows up to the uh, the beach, and she comes down, talks to Jesse a little bit, says that she's interested in Tanner. So this is where I'm starting to wonder if there's a lot of producer manipulation on this episode because they cat kicked Braden off a couple weeks ago. Now in a Tanner, she has these crazy confessionals, yelling and screaming, has all tons of opinions, and she's all about her birthday today, and they bring in a girl that is number one guy's Tanner. So she comes in onto the beach, um, reads out that she has a day card. Everyone thinks she's beautiful. She's a beautiful girl. She wants to talk to Tanner. So she's doing the normal thing where it's like, Hey, I'm going to start talking to dudes to get a prospect of who I'm going to take on the date. Talks to Tanner. Date goes well. Tanner does not really tell her that he is talking to Kat. He's just like, I'm open. I'm open. Like I'm willing to go on this date. So Davia goes right back and is like, I don't need to talk to anybody else. I'm taking Tanner. So just another kick kick uh, cat while she's down. She's pissed off. But he does go pull her before he leaves. And he's like, hey, I'm going to talk to Cat. 
let her know like what's going on. She <laughs> is actually putting on a pretty brave face for what we see from last episode and later in this episode. She's like, if you want to go, you should go. She's fuming in her confessionals. She should have honestly just set her point right there. And because he's like, I want to be tested like you were tested uh, before. And I think I should be tested, which I mean, I guess I, I think these people need to remember that it is a dating show. And the whole point of it is to like talk around and meet people. I mean, they already all know each other. So it's, it's kind of hard to take either of them like super seriously when they're upset about like, oh, somebody gets called for a date. And then just more stuff that just happens while he's on the date with Davia and like she's crying to Kaylee or Kylie about like how ah, I'm done with him, blah, blah, blah. And then Olivia and a whole parade of people, including like the chefs and workers from the resort all come down, sing her happy birthday. She's sobbing, crying. I, I laughed out loud. I thought it was hilarious. Um, Aaron B is calling karma on this. He's like, I don't feel bad for it all. And honestly, I don't either. And it's, I, I'm glad that somebody's saying it and not like, oh, I feel so bad for her. I feel so bad for her. It's the premise of the show. And when you're acting like a jerk, like you were at last episode, and we didn't really love Brayden. Brayden's kind of a jerk and she treated him like crap. So if she, like, if she's treating him like crap, but we're feeling bad for Brayden, like you kind of sucked. So it's funny how things work out. And that's why I was saying it seemed pretty convenient that those things were happening to her. Dobby and Tanner are going out to dinner. They have like a little um, dance. Like it looks like they're doing like some, just like a, at a dance club or an outside dance club. And they're doing this like montage. But it's like, oh, I want, Kat's like, I want to, I want to hit something. Like, and they pull up a pinata, not one that Brayden and uh, Rachel made, but they're, she's breaking the pinata, talking all, doing like this montage of her hitting it confessionals and then here is tanner and davia making out so again they did they did cat like no favors on this episode at all all right so the next thing we move on to sam p goes and talks to wells and she's like hey why are you fixing this box and he's like oh well aaron s smashed this truth box the other day so she's like oh i want to put something in there and decides to play like a truth or their game and they start doing all these dares she dares aaron aaron b to eat a pepper and like the whole entire thing which is never a good idea he was definitely feeling it it's that was that was very worrisome um tanner has to kiss the girl the, the girl he thinks is the hottest kisses kylie and it was pretty bad i'm gonna try to drop a picture in here of like her face like But it was one of those kisses where she was like, like one of these faces where the kiss was coming in and she was just like, so I'll try to pop a picture in there. It was pretty funny. Um, Olivia has to suck on John Henry's finger. Um, he said it was pretty, he he liked it. Um, they were laughing about it. Just kind of basic there. Somebody had to give somebody a lap dance. Um, and then one of the big ones is Aaron asked Jess if, Blake is the number one guy for her on this beach and she hesitates and this kind of Blake sitting in the background and he's like should I be worried about this in a confessional um, and this is going to be like something that happens in a few minutes where it's like he pulls her to talk to her and they end up taking like he wants to take a step back because he doesn't want to like get in a situation where it's going to be bad she feels bad because she starts crying and it's just like we didn't see we haven't seen any of this stuff from her at all so We'll have to see where that goes. The preview looks like she's kissing Tyler. So we'll have to see what happens to Blake there. Because, I mean, next time the guys do have the roses. So we will see. So the next morning, Davia and Kat talk. Um, Kat lets her know that they did have a strong connection. And Davia's like, he never told me anything about this. Um, and she was like, look, I, I'm into him. I was going to pursue him. So I don't think Davia did anything wrong, even if she did know that she was a cat. Like the whole point of the again is the point of the show is you come on the show, you want to talk to people that you and potentially get married. So <clears throat> it is what it is on that. And they showed like uh Tanner was like sleeping all morning. Tanner finally wakes up, uh pulls cat to talk to her, and it just it it that's where this is where the episode ends, and I just kind of feel like it's not gonna be good. And they had this like nice little montage of Cat starts talking to John Henry in the preview. Um, Charity shows up, and it looks like it. She's like trying to throw Eliza off Aaron B, which is. We'll see how that goes. Um, Tyler and Jess, like I said earlier, Tyler and Jess kiss. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, 
I don't know if we'll have a rose ceremony because we usually every other episode, but I'm sure a couple, maybe a couple more girls, a couple more guys. We'll see about that. Um, let me know, but let us know below, like any of the couples you like, any of the new couples. Um, if you were sad that any of the guys went, I think a lot of all the dudes that left were pretty much like the low level dudes on the show. So again, comment below any thoughts comments any shows that you want us to watch and i think the next thing that we will have is probably f boy island because i think for the rest of the weekend we were off unless brett decides to do a challenge or big brother video from this week so let us know again drop a comment any shows you want us to check out we are busy but we will always check out anything that somebody recommends so we will talk i will talk to you guys next time see you